Are you guys ready for another pancake recipe? If this is your first time here, welcome to a mom cooks type of channel. My kids love pancakes and today's recipe for coconut flour pancakes is one that I love to eat with them and they actually enjoy eating because well, there are times where I'm strict paleo or eating very low carb or I cycle or just want to eat really a clean pancake recipe. This is it. Now below this video, I'm gonna have some resources for you like the printed recipe for these pancakes, my clean eating guide for families and all that shindig because if you're eating clean, it doesn't mean that you have to give up on your favorite recipes like weekend pancakes. So let's get started. We're gonna make this pancake batter in a blender because I love using a blender for this recipe because my milk and eggs, it absorbs with the coconut flour. And I'm gonna tell you all about those substitutes. So I know you have a lot of questions. If this is the first time making coconut flour pancakes, they're gonna come out awesome and epic. I'm gonna make sure of that. So into my blender, I'm gonna put milk. Now I'm using coconut milk today, but if you don't have a dairy allergy, you can use regular milk as well. I've got four eggs here. Something that you'll notice in a lot of coconut flour recipes is that you have a lot of eggs. Eggs provide both volume and liquid because coconut flour is like 10 times more absorbent than traditional uh, wheat flour. So you need to add more liquid in the recipe for the pancakes to become you know, cohesive and form actually half texture. So four eggs are what we're putting in here. This is not a recipe where you can use an egg substitute because egg substitutes, my recommendation is no more than two eggs in a recipe. So this is not that recipe. So milk, eggs, I have a little bit of honey or maple syrup that you can use to sweeten everything up in here. If you are doing keto, omit the honey for sure. I'm also gonna add a little bit of vanilla because vanilla makes my pancakes taste like cake. First thing I'm gonna do is give everything a quick whiz. So up next, I'm going to use some baking soda. This recipe, unlike my traditional pancakes, has baking soda, not baking powder. And again, all of the measurements are gonna be right below the video. Also, a tiny bit of salt and coconut flour. Now, I have an entire post on coconut flour substitutes or what you can use, but coconut flour is not a one-to-one -one replacement for all-purpose flour. So I don't want you thinking that you can omit this coconut flour and use traditional flour. If you're looking for a recipe with traditional flour, I've got an entire playlist for you. So this is again, not it. And we're going to add our coconut flour to our blender. Now, if you don't have a blender, you could definitely do this in a big bowl. You would then have to allow your batter to sit for about five to 10 minutes for the coconut flour to absorb that liquid. But the blender though, the trick is that the blender helps the coconut flour absorb that liquid and thicken up really quickly. I want you to come up close and take a quick look because as you blend it, your batter is thickening up and you want it to look like this. All right guys, so let's make these pancakes. I am using a big griddle so I can cook more pancakes at once, but of course you can totally use a pan for this. You do wanna make sure that it is a non-stick surface and you're either gonna spray it or use a stick of butter and give yourself a little extra grease. Now, of course, if you're dairy free, you wouldn't be using butter, you can use coconut or vegetable oil. And the thing about coconut flour pancakes is that about two tablespoons in size max is what you want. You don't want huge coconut flour pancakes. There are silver dollar size pancakes. Now these pancakes do not freeze that well, so I don't really recommend it. They do refrigerate, so if you're making these just for yourself, you can make the entire batch, put them in the fridge, and then either microwave them or in the toaster oven. But I don't recommend freezing them because they have a lot of eggs, so the texture does change and then they get spongy. I did tell you, you were gonna make perfect coconut flour pancakes, right? Let's flip these over. Now, coconut flour pancakes will take a little longer to cook through, especially since I made them quite thick. That's why it's really important to make them smaller. Let's plate these up. All 
All right, guys, let's check these out. These coconut flour pancakes are cooked inside. Mm. Super good. Make sure to check the notes right below the video with the recipe, the directions, all of the substitutions, everything I wrapped up in this video. And while you're down there, hit that red subscribe and you and I get to cook a few times a week together. See you next time.